All right. Final chapter. Infinite notes. I guess you get the translation of that. Knots is kind of a symbol of fear. Connections. The ties that bind. Anyway. So we got through the barrier. And we set foot in the God's Haze. But it's an unbelievable scene spread out before us. What is this? So within our field of vision, we got wreckage. No matter how you look at it, it this place has already been destroyed. So what's going on here? Is this the Fuchsia Faith's holy grounds? This is just a bunch of ruins. Hmm. Yeah. That's what it is. This isn't what, you know, the believers in Fuchsia would probably expect the, you know, shining holy grounds to be. So in this area we've got these husks and fragments of broken devices. Could this be from the human tribes that rebelled? Yeah. We've just gotten a brief look at him. But most likely it's the same kind of thing as the castle. Yeah, of all things so too. They've got the same symbols amongst the wreckage as there is in the castle. So the number of the weapons that were created before the war well, this is probably where most of them are. Well, most that weren't destroyed. And they're, you know, lying around in pieces. Or less than that. Well, if you think about it, it's probably natural. The elves and the dragons for a long time have been destroying these things. So... I wonder if we should take this to mean that after the war all these damaged things were just left here as is. They just left them. Probably. They've been broken and while they weren't properly disposed of it does seem odd. So it seems that the barrier, well, we thought that the barrier was there to protect invasion from the outside. But perhaps the reason it was sealed was, in fact, to prevent all coming and all going. So, in this side of circumstances, any kind of lifestyle would be pretty difficult. Exceedingly difficult. Taking this into account, rather than saying they were in charge of the place, it's better to say the place was just completely sealed off. So if perhaps you were thinking that there were a few elves that came in and did stuff in the holy ground and then left. No, the barrier didn't do that. The barrier kept everybody out indiscriminately. Yeah, that might be true. Around here there isn't the presence of any living creatures.
going by what Coup de Vance said, we were expecting to find, you know, a weakened god. <laughs> but, looking at this, far from finding our god, we're not even finding anything living. Well, sometimes reality differs from your expectations. What's important is we make our decisions and get to moving. So you guys came here with the goal of saving Fia, right? So quickly, we need to pick our methods and start to look for something. Yeah, that's right. We better not mull over this, we better take action. So we can't stay here any forever. Using the castle as our base, let's continue forward. So we're not going to move just riding the castle in. If we don't move properly, we're going to crush a bunch of ruins ourselves and we could end up stepping on something that we're gonna that we're going to need. So we need to find some place that had plans or the method of manufacture written down. Huh. Well, that would help us, but it's pretty unlikely. Still, I think that Searching around, we should be able to find something. If we came here, we were told, we would find a way to save the goddess. Katorito's a bit uneasy here when she says this. Navarro thinks she's thinking about her father's death. Oh no. No. Probably. Where she got her... Hmm... She got her information from her father's vengeance. Hmm, perhaps it's Ku... What's his face? Oh man, I forgot that other dragon's name. Oh well, I didn't like him anyway. So, going by the information we had so far... Here in the Holy Grounds, we should be able to find, understand the method of manufacture. But if we're looking for something that stands out, do you, well, none of this seems to jump out at us as how, holding the secret. So, do you guys think that Gaidal knew about this? <laughs> Well, he said himself that he had never actually gotten in. So probably he didn't know. So aside from the Gralakuna castle, he did think that there were other weapons existing. But looking at this, well, perhaps he isn't going to find anything salvageable here. Mm, yeah, come to think of it, Gaido might not know anything that wasn't known to his tribe back when the seal was set up. So, his info is pretty old. In any case, we're here to save Fia.
So getting here for the first time, Fia herself being, you know, the person to be saved in question. We have to wonder why she was, yeah, why she was aiming for this place in the first part. Wonder if she's remembered. But she's not participating in this kind of conversation, actually. She's staring off at a certain something off in the distance. Ah, uh, Fia, is there something that's drawing your attention here? Ah, uh, yeah. That has been bothering her. That. Oh, okay. So she points off at a large pillar of ascending light. Yeah, Deedham was had caught sight of that as well. You could see it from before, from the outside. But now that we're inside, it stands out even more. So, in the center of the holy grounds, for no apparent reason, there's this suspicious light pillar. Certainly, if we go there, we'll find something. <laughs> something that it can explain what's going on in this holy ground? Well, it is one landmark that we can head towards. Although we don't know what it is, well, we should go and check it. We should go and investigate it for that reason. All right. Well, exploring the surroundings, let's head for that light. Although we've heard that there isn't any sign of life around here, there might be something buried around here. So, be careful. <laughs> oh, what is that? It's grinding forward. It looks like it's going to come and attack us. Oh, great. So, the broken devices are moving. But, if it's the same kind of thing as the castle, then there, if there isn't a god or a spirit within it, then it shouldn't be able to move, right? Hmm, right. She doesn't feel any spirits. And that's without doubt. And there aren't gods without it. There aren't, shouldn't be gods sealed within them either. Which means... Those plants that have grown about them are forcing them to move. Is that how we should see it? So if there aren't humans inside working them, that means they're being manipulated from the outside. Uh, okay. Well, we don't have time to talk long about this. They're coming in on an attack. So, everybody prepare for battle. Don't let your guards down. Okay, this is unusual conditions for winning. I need to fix all the broken shrines and take 100% control of the map. Which obviously means defeating all the enemies. There's mining and gathering again. Great. 
I wish you would tell me what I can mine and gather. Thanks to that, those three days I spent off screen, most of my characters are level 36 or 37 now. Hmm. Okay, you're high enough level already. So are you. Yeah, I really had my spellcasters going to work in that last map. Aside from the guys out, my only level 36s remaining are my summons. Alright, this will work for now. Haha, <laughs> burn! I think we fought with some of these guys before. Now, the reason I sent Kaori in over here is basically because I want to make sure that I've sent a miner into every area. So we might have sent him into some side tracks. Hmm. Better not waste my energy on this guy. Or well, maybe I should have. Yeah, actually, Avaro, do you have your fire? On. Yeah, he's got the fire weapon. Three counters in a row. That was three counters in a row. Hmm. You know, it's funny how I always thought these shrines were actually wells. That's a bit of, you know, Western imagery. That steeple there, indicating a well. In the Japanese culture, yeah, it's a shrine. It's obvious it's a shrine. Get some experience around it. That's all the reason I had for that. I may want to pull Fia back after this turn because she's kind of exposed there. Anyway, this guy. No. If at all possible, however, Fia can capture this guy. Oh, they're, uh, flower things. Reviewing the enemies in this map, we actually have and this one will heal at the end of this, unless I kill it, which isn't going to happen with this. <laughs> Muscles! <laughs> yeah, see? Ouch! But Fia has enough hit points to handle this. 
at least for our A turn. Hmm. Okay, let's start with Ron in. 48 times 3. Too powerful. Man. Hmm. Well, healing. That's always good. Burning. And then... If all can finish, uh, you bastard. No, we need to capture these enemies for crying out loud. Now, Yorin is going to weaken this enemy. How does this work? The random number generator is a bitch sometimes. They're out of work. Now, Varro, finish this guy up so you're protecting Fia. Perfect. Oh, yes. Capture the undead guy. No, Feel still has the double drop side I'm on. Ah, I'd better send three south. Alright, let's see if we can get to that feather before the turn ends. Uh. So far, so good. Ah, uh, no mining. Oh. That was Laramiash stone it dropped for me. Ha! Come to think of it. Yorin also has determination, so I may as well leave him low life. Well, a little lower life. But before I forget... Pearl Steel! That's interesting. And a Mars stone. All right, this is going well. I can just hear the golems stomping their way over towards my guys. Ah. I should have used fire on this guy. Are these guys poisoning my units? Okay, while we're investigating the God's Haze, 
I've always noticed something out of place. What's this? The ground is shaking? So, in our line of sight, the scenery is swaying slightly left and right. Now, when the castle's moving, it's one thing, but it's not that kind of strong reverberation. If you stand still, and if you don't stand still and pay attention, you wouldn't notice it. It's a kind of subtle thing. Now, now something he, he sees. Maybe it's an optical illusion. But for an instant, a portion of sand seemed to well up. Is that my imagination? But it seems like the shaking has stop, stopped for the moment. Maybe it was just an earthquake. No, we can't really think that's true. Seeing as this is the fuchsia face, holy ground, the god's haze, that, you know, a god should be taken care of, his holy mountain and all. And now the present god, Fia, has come here with us, and now it shakes. Hard to think of it as a coincidence. Maybe I'm thinking too much on this. All right, let's return to our explorations. Oh, can you say foreshadowing? Still, I wonder what it is. I think I'm going to cut the video here. That's a good a place as any. I want to point out first, there's this mystery event. Technically speaking, it's not required to hit it in order to finish the map. But hell, I'm curious. Aren't you curious? So we're going to visit it when we come over that way. In any case, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Where we'll defeat the rest of these guys. Maybe.